Arthur, I'm very happy you are here for me, yes, for our video course. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Arthur, uh, we meet us uh, some weeks ago for the first time and uh, we talked together. And uh, how long how long was your work uh, with uh, Buteco? Well, I started about 20 years ago. 20 years ago? <laughs> yeah, myself and then later with relatives like my father, my mother, my nephews. So, the different kind of close people first and then I st shortly started to teach already. Like, uh, and got like become a teacher trained by Ludmila Buteco. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, later, a uh, few years later, I wrote, wrote already the first edition of a book for practitioners because uh, I lived at this time in Canada. I lived in Canada already for oh, 20, 26 years. 26 years? You lived in Canada for 26 years? Okay. Yes, I'm Canadian for 23 <coughs> years. And, and so what, what happened that I discovered there is a large community of uh, Bottega practitioners, mm -hmm. and there are support groups. On the West, although 20 years ago it was definitely not as many people as we have now, now I know like there are more trials, more people, more practitioners or teachers of the method. But already there were quite some, quite many people, and uh, I met some, many of them. I joined some groups, and then what I realized there was much more information present in Russian language. Mm -hmm. Available internet already was kind of just at the origins, and but many doctors and doctors, many articles, uh, manuals, even and other materials of Dr. Buteyko himself were also available online. Mm -hmm. So I could easily read in Russian. Russian was my second language, English my third language. Yes. So, so <laughs> and so I could really uh, uh, translate some material. Find uh, I found a lot of uh, Western research which completely confirmed many, many Dr. Buteyko ideas, okay. such as that sick people breathe too much, mm -hmm. breathing too much causes lower oxygenation in the cells of the body, uh, many other problems related to low carbon dioxide as well. And then, uh, of course, I also uh, realized that a lot of research exists on various other discoveries, uh, which I believe very important, such as uh, people most likely to die during early morning hours, which Soviet Buteyko doctors, Russian Buteyko doctors mm -hmm. knew, so we knew about this effect. It's, it's during sleep, that sleeping on the back is very destructive, very negative for health. Like, mm -hmm. I, I was myself like almost shocked. Like, I found 27 studies by Western doctors who never, like, it's extremely unlikely. Uh, that we knew about Buteyko or briefing at all, because these were just ordinary medical doctors who studied different sleep positions. And all 27 studies discovered that sleeping on the back was the worst position. So, uh, negative effects of MAO briefing mm -hmm. uh, during sleep. Uh, so, there are like strong, strong support, low breath holding times in sick people. Many, many studies exist. A lot of studies, I think, on the homepage of normalbriefing.org. Mm -hmm. This is like where I put this research, like there is a big table with yes. about 40 studies showing that sick people have, uh, it's kind of, I, I can, we can call it hidden hyperventilation. Okay. Because people don't believe, don't know, and nobody tells them that they so it's, believe too much. I, I think it's, um, it's very interesting. Um, um, Arthur, uh, you give us a, a lot of in <laughs> information and input, and uh, at first, the, the most practitioners, yes, from you, uh, live live in, in Canada and in Russia, and uh, is it is it right? Is this, is it right? The information or, or another question is how many practitioners you have here in, in, in Germany or in uh, Austria? It's it's not so much. It's not so many people. Yeah, yes. uh, by right now <laughs> in Germany, for example, <laughs> hard to say. Probably would be somewhere about. Maybe 40, 50, 60, could be a little more. So the problem is that many of them uh, do not have many clients or students, and so we are not kind of visible, we do not teach groups. There are some practitioners I know that have uh, regularly many groups, and we taught already hundreds, and some of them even thousands and thousands of people. But another kind of beauty of the <coughs> of uh, discoveries of Dr. Buteyko is that he discovered that uh, briefing retraining 
uh, that was his clinical opinion, clinical experience, always works for even like you can take even the sickest people with any type of disease like cancer stage 4 or people with many many other health problems if they manage to normalize breathing that was his discovery they get health this so is one discovery but another discovery he also invented the way how to get there and that's called the butaka method mm -hmm. so and my view kind of my role during last years i believe would be kind of moving in such direction as direction number one is to expand doctor discoveries, uh, doctor Buteke discoveries on larger range of conditions. Mm -hmm. so, for example, application on cancer, chronic fatigue syndrome, yes. digestive yes. problems. It's, there are many conditions which are very hard to recover, and even like in medical science, we often say like we, we don't know any cases that when people recover from them. That's one direction. Another direction which I also pursue during last years and like, all, very developed, since I started on this journey is that I'm trying to find ways and methods and techniques mm -hmm. which allow students to progress with less time mm -hmm. and achieve the results faster. So okay. this the Okay. <laughs> yeah. Of course so everybody wants the results faster. Yes, yes. yeah. And yeah, the, but the beauty is if people get the result, we, we get improved. <laughs> and even if we get little uh, improvement of result, we see on themselves, mm -hmm. we need less symptoms, less medication, and that of course. It's a uh, very, very interesting uh, uh, one, one point uh, you tell us uh, um, the sleeping sleeping is, is very important yes I, I know I, I hear in the last years very much from our practitioners many people are have problems with sleeping in, in Germany many people yes <laughs> I would say 90 percent so this is an important point then the next and you, you tell it now and in and, and our last uh, uh, talk you tell me uh, also the cancer patients yes you have uh, uh, many results, great results with cancer patients. For me is the question, uh, is it possible uh, for, all, for all people and uh, um, indications to learn, to practice your, your therapy, your bracing? Is, is, is it possible to learn it? Well, as soon as people are able to understand simple instructions, mm -hmm. so that's the like, kind of required, of course, because occasionally there can be people too sick even to understand, to follow. And then, of course, yeah, we, we need to uh, like convince a person that this therapy works so that people have like vision of themselves recovered from uh, whatever health problems they have. So it's, uh, yeah, but of, of course, like overwhelming majority of people and even children down to like three, four years old, we know, like. Three or four years old, old. Yes, to be able okay. to, to understand uh, simple things <coughs> like brief as a mouse, you can like put a finger and explain them and how to relax breath and how to hold breath as well. Like, like we can follow it, practice with breathing devices, so various things, of course, we can how to take mouth and we can do it from parents as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, people of all ages, like we had people in ages, even 90s who were able, similar to, I don't know, like walking mm -hmm. or doing meditation probably would be uh, maybe a bit more challenging activity, but uh, very, very similar too because we are both kind of relates to, um, relates to kind of uh, exercises when you focus on your inner world, mm -hmm. so kind of switch off the outer world so you can analyze also like your emotions and it's, it's mindfulness, yeah, mindfulness, metacognition types of exercises relates to breath and main exercise that we use also Buteke reduced breathing exercise, uh, kind of the key exercise. Also, it can be considered as a mindfulness or meditation exercise. Okay, thank you. Arthur, you, you have in the last weeks, <coughs> four weeks, six weeks, you make your own experience with bracing uh, lower oxygen, hypoxic air and hypoxic mm -hmm. air, IHHT, um, in Mallorca, yes, you learn it um, by uh, Dr. Brocco. Mm -hmm. First time. Yeah, we've... And uh, it's I very interesting for me because I make my experience in the last two years with our um, a technique with our um, um, bracing exercise on the machine and um, I use also uh, I think a, a little bit of uh, bracing technique 
from Buteco, yes, with a lower lower bracing and uh, make make some some uh, stops in the bracing and so on. Uh, what is your experience now in this in this last four or six weeks uh, together? Well, uh, kind of just my own case would be kind of too um, kind of presumptuous to have like general conclusion. But uh, well, how it feels to me that this therapy uh, works uh, kind of in a, some indirect way because Buteyko method is basically we slow down our breath step by step and that makes our body oxygenation which we record like our students record you know morning CP, mm -hmm. morning body oxygen test before sessions after uh, sessions when we do some may do it even after before and after physical exercise mm -hmm. sessions because physical exercise is a, a crucial part, very important part of okay. the method, which also becomes more important when students progress, when we improve. So mm -hmm. the importance of physical exercise gets higher and higher, and breath, <coughs> the importance of breathing exercise actually is, gets less mm -hmm. in comparison with physical exercise. So that's a big, a big kind of part of the Buteyko method. And so that's how I, I view it myself. But this session kind of it works. <laughs> it's like it, I believe it's possible to get uh, up to five, seven, ten seconds improvement in your mm -hmm. CP test, which is very, very high result if we think about like let's say average person who would commonly have something like about 15, 20 seconds for the initial breath holding time. I know that you mentioned during our previous talk that m many people are able to get up to 10 seconds improvement after a single session, which is, uh, I think it's usually like 40-50 minutes for mm -hmm. in intermittent hypoxic training. Hy hypoxic and hyperoxic, because I, I know of course new machines we use uh, both hypoxic certain period of time and then you have hyperoxic a little bit higher than normal, mm -hmm. percent And that somehow, yeah, like uh, gives a uh, Amazing boost in recovery of mitochondria and yes. some some other like it's I, I believe it's probably a lot of different modifications take mm -hmm. place in the nerve cells which we discussed also with Arkady Prokop a bit uh, I had like uh, interview with him and uh, muscle cells and but uh, like mitochondria is present <laughs> virtually everywhere so we can we, and therefore the effect is uh, like really large and global and. I believe, of course, strong effects could be achieved also on various types of infections within the body. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, uh, like breath would take a box super well when people are not too sick, like sinusitis and mm -hmm. sometimes digestive infection or infection in lungs, like mm -hmm. asthmatic cell. Uh, when people are kind of uh, moderately sick or just maybe slightly sick, but when people are very, very sick, I know by experience when we have like additional health problems, which can be heart disease, diabetes, you know, many other conditions, mm -hmm. it can be very difficult for them to improve their breath. And mm -hmm. so I thought about it, of course, uh, uh, would be the, uh, those situations when traditional Buteyko techniques, which we use, so we are, of course, trying to expand what Dr. Buteyko left to us with diet and many other things and other techniques, would uh, intermittent hypoxic, hyperoxic training be able to achieve this uh, strong positive result on those people who have serious difficulties in improvement, mm -hmm. uh, the, in slow, slowing down their breath and getting high ECP? Because if it's possible, uh, another group of people I did not mention would be, of course, people with chronic fatigue syndrome mm -hmm. or fibromyalgia. Mm -hmm. So it's CFS, fibromyalgia, fibromyalgia yeah. and uh, ME, so it's kind of similar related conditions. And uh, because these are also, <laughs> we know by experience, these are the people who are like most stubborn, most difficult to improve ACP. Sometimes it's like even one, two seconds, you know, to get improvement mm -hmm. after doing like uh, 30 minutes, 40 minutes session of Buteyko. Mm -hmm. It could, could be difficult for them. And yes. you know, my, many of my students use devices because I like uh, effects, I know that for most people we work stronger, especially at low CP, like something like for a long briefing device mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. DIY briefing device, mm -hmm. which I have books mm -hmm. about. <coughs> and so these are kind of uh, uh, techniques which helps, but it still could not be enough in some cases for mm -hmm. people to normalize. And then we of course have recent discoveries last I would say five, ten years, but for me it's uh, relatively probably two, three years only. 
related to low carb diets, and there are mm -hmm. new articles again related to therapeutic ketogenic diet, PKD mm -hmm. diet, carnivore mm -hmm. diet, which PKD diet, particularly like with doctors from Pali Medicine, I just had mm -hmm. my uh, most latest video, most recent video mm -hmm. uh, on this diet, discussing like a, that's a really fascinating kind of opportunities for developing of uh, brief interview training techniques which could be applied together because let's say PKD, I, as I partially mentioned in those videos, is not able to help people when they have chemotherapy or uh, radiation mm -hmm. because the effects, negative effects as we discovered are so strong that usually chemotherapy or radiation kills the patient when we use PKD diet. So it, it's very ne okay. strong negative result. So we contraindicate this uh, now strongly emphasizing the mm -hmm. radio interviews, or podcasts, mm -hmm. and in, you know, on this side as well, that these methods, like, we cannot use them <laughs> together with PKT diet because the results are disastrous, very negative. But with Buteka, we know that Buteka actually have been working, it's known for decades, to Buteka teaches that people can recover very fast okay. from chemotherapy and radiation mm -hmm. if they apply the Buteka technique. So it looks strange because Buteka, on the mm -hmm. one hand, works only on stage one cancer. Mm -hmm and made stage and half, one and a half, like when urine metastasis starts. But stages three and four, it's known from, like again, experience with hundreds of people, it's virtually it cannot help. So, mm -hmm. so it's very limited effect on cancer. Mm -hmm. But PTD diet says, we, we, are, we had a lot of cases now, where mm -hmm. people with stages three and four are able to recover while applying only diet. It looks like totally kind of abnormal, like to even to, put in your mind, because all my life I thought, oh, but take a method, it's, there could be no stronger therapy, but when we look at cancer and how it works with cancer, Buteke was only able to have limited success, mm -hmm. whereas diet provides much more, but this diet actually is also, cannot help if people have chemotherapy or radiation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is a very complex picture how, how the human body reacts and how cancer, cancer yes. interacts. So, it's very, very interesting. This is... Uh... Um, one question about your work in now in the future. You tell me you make some new video courses. You uh, you want to to make your lessons uh, uh, about new video courses. Is it right? Yes, and it's in, in the plans for 2020 yeah, for this year that to have video courses, mm -hmm. educational courses. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. that's one of the part. And of course, yeah, like the testing. I also want to see like if. Uh, uh, like let's say somebody who close to me can test the machine uh, that I want to try on people and maybe to have like people with chronic fatigue. People also who have a very high CP would be very interesting as well. Mm -hmm. Like somebody who has maybe CP 40, 50, 60, okay. with very short sleep, natural record, like usually like we sleep four, maybe five hours really. And to see how we would react. It's of course uh, another thing I, I know that these sessions require kind of some period of time to, mm -hmm. to uh, realize effects of one session. I also felt physically, uh, like I, I noticed myself, you really feel like like almost on the wings, you know, like your muscles easy and the kind of uh, very pleasant sensation of your body after side sessions. But there are also, of course, accumulative effects when you have one, two, one week, two weeks and one month period of time. So, and of course, it would be great to see like how people would, if, if be able to improve uh, and to get certain results, like what would be the later kind of effects when we withdraw this training, because see, we have to kind of adjust people so that we, in my opinion, probably, uh, maybe some people can use it for like very long periods of time and so on, but probably still for most people to see how we can win off Mm -hmm. The machine, like well, we usually use it for people with CPAP machine, you know, because we use how we how to win off. Mm -hmm. like, so, so we can get rid of the machine so that not to use it later. Which of course, uh, I believe, probably thousands and thousands already around the world did with CPAP. But this machine also it like feels nice, feels great, it helps a lot when it when it uh, kind of helps to defeat maybe certain areas uh, with like infection I mentioned or. Like, or like maybe damaged tissue as well, inflammation related. Mm -hmm. uh, what would be the situation later? Because uh, of course, long time 
uh, effects on students would be very important to understand what is going to happen like uh, two, three, five, ten years later. And here I, I, I am certain, of course, that physical exercise, as Dr. Buteyko discovered like already in the 1960s, would be the key factor which actually defines health of people. Uh, and uh, he suggested like that actually uh, a norm for a healthy person and his norm of health was 60 second CP, which is very, very hard norm since I would say just maybe two, three percent of all Buteyko practitioners oh, okay. teaches achieve mm -hmm. this level because okay. most of this is a lot higher than never, 60 seconds. So that's, that's very high. Even, even 30 seconds is uh, so if, I, if I make some <laughs> breathing exercise and uh, after I, I, I have some uh, physical exercise and after I make 40 or 50 uh, minutes on the machine um, uh, with hypoxic training, I have sometimes 60, 60 seconds. It's it's okay. it's very. But I have and I have a, 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 um, I, I feel a lot of uh, relaxation in my body. Yes, it's oh. very very. Good, and, yes. and still, how you feel? It would be um, very dependent on what was your morning CP. So if you woke yes. up with thirty seconds, yes. Versus if you wake up with 50, 60 seconds, yes. that's a very, very large difference. <laughs> because with 30 mm -hmm. people sleep six, six and a half hours, and there is still like some so minor health problems, minor, minor symptoms are possible. Whereas with 50, 60, it's, it's a huge, huge step forward. And that's actually according to Boteke and all Soviet doctors like whom he trained in Siberia, and probably ones as well, who dare to go into this area, we all say that actually to break through morning 40 seconds is the most difficult uh, goal or challenge in, in, in brief and training. And I know it's true. I know it because I knew so many students who get stuck at 30, 35. And so, but at the same time, because I have like myself traveled actually quite several times from 30 up to 50, 60 and stay there at 50, 60. Of course, you need not just to travel there, but to experience that, to be there, like let's say for some weeks, at least mm -hmm. a month, and you kind of stabilize, you know how much exercise you need. But the exercise becomes super easy. At 50, 60 particularly, people, usually people crave exercise. We enjoy exercise and we mm -hmm. like to do it. It's like we just cannot like sit all the day in front of computer or TV or whatever we do. So lifestyle, of course, our lifestyle is like, I would say very yes. unhealth the last hundred years, so mm -hmm. that makes kind of take a method so successful. Yes. I, Arthur, I think it's very important for us to learn, to learn everything from you. <laughs> you have so much uh, things in your experience. You have, uh, uh, you are the, the, the best in your in your in your uh, uh, training, and uh, I'm very happy that you are here and we meet together. And uh, Arthur, I'm very happy for for the future. Uh, I thank you for being here. Okay. Yes. yes. But I also want to ask uh, maybe if you could yes. shortly answer. Yes. If, it, okay. if, if, if people have this uh, intermittent hypoxic, hyperoxic uh, training, yes. and you mentioned that they, many of them can get up to 10 seconds improvement in the ACP yeah, mm -hmm. before and after, which is fantastic result. My question would be, like, uh, did you have such experience with people who are more sick, like let's say people with chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, or people who would have like maybe uh, bouquet or se several conditions together? Because these are like, uh, I know by experience, because not many, but uh, more like, let's say, we take hundred students, for example, my average hundred students, like, mm -hmm. you, there would be few people, always few people, like uh, probably in each hundred that I trained, uh, over, uh, who just, uh, because we are so sick, have so many health problems, we just cannot improve. Mm -hmm. And that's, of course, would be something which uh, attracted the attention because you want to help people and there is like few people, let's say maybe two, three of them only, who practice their best. So in your experience, does it help as, as well? So we have, we have uh, more than 500 or 600 uh, uh, practitioners, yes, mm -hmm. and they have all different kinds of uh, indications. And uh, chronic fatigue syndrome is a very special indication for this training. And uh, the most from the chronic fatigue syndrome uh, improved from ah. this method, yes, mm -hmm. yes. I, I can't say how, how, um, how they can uh, improve his own CP, yes, because uh, 
um, my work uh, or, the, or our work with uh, the CP test is one year, one and a half years. Yes, uh, this time is, mm -hmm. is too short mm -hmm. or yeah, to have uh, more experience. But uh, all the patients with uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, and there are different, different um, um, other um, uh, problems uh, like uh, borreliose, yes, you know, chronic fatigue, borreliose, mm -hmm. yes, and so on. And or or, um, or a low low immune immune system mm -hmm. yes, and they um, they all improved his own uh, mm -hmm. by himself and uh, I have we have one one person um, uh, is he is now thirty eight so thirty seven thirty eight years old Sebastian he comes ten years ten years ago and uh, neuroborreliose. Uh, chronic fatigue syndrome. It's yes, and now he's stabilized. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's very healthy and uh, he works with uh, sports sportsmen. Yes, mm -hmm. and um, but this, it needs a long time. Mm -hmm. It's it, it. He begins with the session and then the first time it's going up and then he becomes more low. Yes, it it going in. In waves, can I so say? In waves, yeah. sometimes it going up, and he he becomes more healthy, and then sometimes he going uh, um, down, and uh, it needs a long time, one year, two years, three years or more. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I think uh, if we can if we can um, use this together, your your trainings um, with bracing, with um, more exercise, and use this special together with the, the um, uh, uh, bracing with a uh, hypoxic hypoxic uh, I think we can we can uh, become faster yeah yeah of course Results. of course lifestyle which relates to buddha method and breath retraining mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, for me it's no doubt it would be extremely beneficial for anybody mm -hmm. who uses intermittent uh, hypoxic hyperoxic mm -hmm. training because let's say like I can imagine like a person if he can have sessions for many months or even years but if, if he goes or she goes home and sleep on the back at night ah, you know, okay, breathing okay, through okay. the mouth for example okay. but it's common so, that's so, common so course. this is this is the first thing from two years ago um, I read your book yeah <laughs> with a uh, bracing normal uh, and this is your website the, your English website is uh, dot, uh, normal normal bracing dot com normalbracing.org now it's ah, normalbracing.org dot org yeah and atmung.org in atmung.org in German in German yeah mm -hmm. German translation which is only 10% probably of the English site English site is very large like mm -hmm. nearly 600 pages and German is like maybe around 60 pages on okay. the thick okay. only small part so if I if I uh, um, make my first CP test yes I have 25 seconds and this is no, but for me not. <laughs> I think uh, the, what, than, what happens? I was an I, I have bracing uh, eight years or, or more with our machine, and I must have. Uh, for, Butego says forty seconds. It's normal. No, normal. sixty. <laughs> sixty. Sixty is normal. Butego is normal. Is normal. Yeah. Is normal. <laughs> so uh, for for me it was clear because because I can improve my CP in this time after the 40 or 50 minutes hypoxic session. Yes, because mm -hmm. I have a relaxation, I, I have a lower bracing and so on. So, but after that, I can hyper, I have a hyperventilation at the whole time, the next two or three days. Yes, and, and if I make two or three sessions in one week, these this are maybe, for example, two or three hours. Mm -hmm. But one week has one hundred more than one hundred and sixty hours, and this is what you say. If I sleep in the night, in the in the wrong way, yes, overeating, uh, overeating <laughs> and hyperventilation and uh, too no. too too stressful day. Not yes. doing exercise. Not no. doing exercise. Or excessive mouth breathing, almost as mm. not as effective, of course. Yes. <laughs> so it's a it's a long, long list of factors definitely I can list probably more than hundred factors now after this years and years of teaching and uh, a lot of these factors like uh, first of all people may have many many of them present 10 20 30 easily 
but also we are not, uh, in most cases, we are even not aware about very strong negative effect of this mm -hmm. factor. So mm -hmm. that's, that's, of course, the power of uh, to take a method and briefing retraining in general. That mm -hmm. It's very hard in terms of, um, especially when you get to high and higher levels, uh, to achieve these levels, CP40, mm -hmm. CP60, 90 seconds, but I had, yes. oh yeah, we had, we, I had students. Put it nice by himself, two and a half, two and a half minutes. Two and a half, put has two and a half minutes. Yes, and two hours of sleep. As exactly, two hours of sleep. Exactly as yoga books predicted long, long, I don't remember, probably centuries ago, that actually real yoga master also should be in this state when we have very, very slow, calm breath, we can hold breath, uh, maximum breath hold would be 8-9 minutes, and that's about the same as world re re uh, records now, because of course when people hyperventilate or they take oxygen, you can get much better results, but if you do not hyperventilate and if you, do, if you not use normal air, uh, having 8-9 minutes, that maximum that human body can achieve, I believe. Would be mm -hmm. close to maximum, and that's exactly like what doctor would take a trained on himself and on his doctors. So that some some of his doctors as well had um, uh, CP result somewhere around two two and a half three minutes. Oh. This is highest, and that's the slowest <laughs> way human can achieve because at this level, like let's say during sleep or normal conditions, such uh, at rest people would breathe about three breaths a minute only. <laughs> it's almost like tortoise, you know, like uh, like uh, some uh, animals who live like 300 years. <laughs> like so, it's a very kind of special state. Yes, the animals, the animals are breathing so slow that the uh, um, um, water, what in the water, the schildkröte, you know, in the English, you know, the bigger seals, whales, seals, whales, yes. And yeah, you know, like it becomes 200 years. Or so many of them, yeah, they can have, uh, of course, yeah, like. Uh, when take breath like 30-40 minutes underwater, 30-40 minutes, of course, you can imagine that they know how to store oxygen and how to use it economically. So, so we have also um, patients or persons, they are bracing and um, they're becoming, uh, coming down to only to, for example, 90% um, set blood, uh, oxygen saturation in the blood, yes? And 90% is for normal normal people. It's it's very easy. It's no no hypoxic training. Yeah, so you don't feel any anything. Uh, it's it's uh, don't uh, anything changes. So, but some of them becomes uh, stress and mm -hmm. headache, mm -hmm. and they're only by 90 or 88 uh, mm -hmm. percent oxygen level in the blood. And uh, now in in, in if I learn your 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 lectures and and uh, CP and so on, I understand why because they are, have all the time too low oxygen inside his brain cells. Yes, mm -hmm. because he has they have a CP level from ten to fifteen seconds. So no, it's no, a chronic, two, two, it's three, a chronic too low chronic oxygen oxygen level, and now we we, we make a little bit more. Yes, a little bit lower the oxygen, yeah. and this is enough to become headache oh, yeah. and stressful. But yes. it's, it's very known already in medicine, probably for many decades, that the sick as a person, the uh, poorer the tolerance towards hypoxic air. So that means we become very sensitive when oxygen drops, because it's true, like if in this room uh, oxygen saturation from 20 gets down to 10, and when we sit, uh, we may not notice it even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's too, too little. But mm -hmm. for a person who is sick, you're absolutely right, because in the brain especially, brain can be already having 20-30% deficiency in oxygen in comparison with the norm. Mm -hmm. So that's why normal breathing, Katmon, if you open home page, I have brain image showing normal brain, normal breathing, mm -hmm. and after one minute of hyperventilation. So oxygen drops about two times if you start to hyperventilate. But this is intensive hyperventilation, somewhere like maybe 40-50 liters a minute, which is of course mm -hmm. very heavy, but sick people, they don't have 40-50, they have uh, two, three times the norm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it can be four, five the norm, 
four or five times heavy minute ventilation in comparison mm -hmm. with medical norm. And of course, the heavier we breathe, the less and less oxygen we have in the brain. So therefore, when you give them hypoxic air, we already have low oxygen, exactly. Yes. So uh, this additional hypoxic air makes them so they, they get headache and yes. they cannot tolerate and they cannot get positive effect. That's why sick people also can be sensitive to uh, atmospheric pressure, you know, mm -hmm. before bad weather, <laughs> pressure drops. It's a tiny bit, like healthy people would not care, would not notice. But for a sick, it's true, we feel on the body, the symptoms get worse, we, whatever other inflammation, infections, or they get worse as well. But, uh, kind of. So, so I think it's the best way to be stimulate. You have many, many um, uh, things to uh, sti stimulate um, our mitochondria. Yes, uh, cold, cold, uh, or, or temperature, more temperature, uh, uh, hot is, is stimulating. But, but if you we uh, stimulate um, our mitochondria with hypoxic, hypoxic, and we bring bring improve our our mitochondria inside the cells here. Mm -hmm. yeah? They can use more oxygen, yes. And now we make the bracing exercise with your technique, yes. We, we, we learn our cells to use to become more oxygen from the blood inside the cells. So I think it works perfect, uh, perfect. Yeah, it's different ways exactly because the Botetia method, uh, it's kind of one of the effects of it. It provides more oxygen for tissues for cells of the body. But your technique works in a totally different way by helping mitochondria to recover. Because with Buteyka method or with any actually natural technique, you cannot create hypoxic uh, situation. You cannot lower your blood oxygen even like uh, below 90% is impossible. Whatever you do with your breath, it's, uh, you, you, you can even hyperventilate whole breath, whole breath for example, and so on. Uh, you can't, you can't get less than 90. But this machine that you use, we all the time target to, to mm -hmm. get the person below 90. That this is where main positive effects yes, they take yes. place. And, and we have a controlling, yes, because we make a hyperventilation, you have no control. You make also a, 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 a hypoxic, yes, inside the cells, but you have not control how, how much is your hypoxic, yes. If you if you make, um, I mean, if you make a, a, a very <laughs> one minute or two minutes, yeah, uh, well, yeah minute. uh, but that's additional. Uh, there is so a negative additional effects of CO two of carbon dioxide when you hyperventilate. Hyperventilation, like uh, if you do it voluntarily, uh, already let's say more than one minute, that's already becomes. Uh, dangerous in terms of like kidney starts to excrete ions because uh, kidneys st start to pre prevent alkalosis of the blood mm -hmm. and so the kidney starts to in 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 excrete ions very fast and you can easily deplete yourself like sodium potassium for example very fast just because of that so it, it's a uh, plus brain effects are so devastating when co2 is low it's like the uh, nervous system becomes hyper excitable. This is known for probably 100 so, years or so. more in, in physiology. And therefore, of course, people who are prone, especially people who are prone like panic attacks and anxiety, mm -hmm. that's very strong negative effects. But all other people, they would say, like, you also feel like space out, you know, like mm -hmm. if you hyperventilate for too long time. It's uncomfortable, it's unpleasant. Mm -hmm. And so that's also how we take it, like when he. Uh, kind of discovered this technique, you, you, you already started to test people in the 50s as well. It's, like, it's uh, not, not, of course, the way to hyperventilate because of additional, very uh, kind of uh, wide range effects of uh, low carbon dioxide. Not only oxygen is get reduced, mm -hmm. but there are many, many other effects mm -hmm. like constriction of airways, constriction mm -hmm. of blood vessels, okay. which makes the whole situation like uh, uh, kind of uh, extremely unhealthy for the human and that's why again like uh, according to medical science medical research and that's like a scientific fact now that not, not only more than 90 I would say 95 97 percent of people hyperventilate mm -hmm. but if we look into people who have diseases the sicker we are <coughs> the heavier we breathe mm -hmm. so the heavier this chronic uh, hidden hyperventilation which as I mentioned like somewhere around uh, two, three times a norm, that's a okay. lot of studies found. Mm. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay. <Absolutely. laughs> yeah, okay. Yes. Thank you, it's everything we have talked and uh, so I'm
happy for our collaboration for the future. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.